everyone, welcome back to the channel and uh, gardening season is over. So I just wanted to do a little wrap up of how things went with the raised beds. Because as you saw in the Black Thumb Gardening section, I made some raised beds, filled them up, put tomatoes out there. I put strawberries out there, butternuts out there, cucumbers, green peppers, hot peppers, all kinds of stuff. To, uh, beans, lots of beans, string beans, and carrots, uh, that rounds it out. So how did it do? It did terrible. Absolutely terrible. First year of the bids, they sunk a lot. So I gotta fill them up with compost, which, at the filming of this video, maybe Saturday, is gonna be nice and I can go get compost and I'm gonna get enough to overflow it because I think it's still gonna settle down. So if you're gonna do raised beds, you got to take the settling into account uh, and watering. Watering is difficult with raised beds to keep the amount of water in there because it just sinks in and flows out. So uh, this is a problem that I got to try and figure out. My production wasn't very good. I did get very good uh, accumulation of my strawberry plants. So next year it looks like we're going to do pretty good there because I have a whole 4x8 bed full of strawberries. So what did we get? out of the raised beds. Well, I'll show you everything but the carrots because they're still out there and I'm gonna wait until it frosts a couple of times before I pull them. We got all these tomatoes here that are green. I got an orange jazz, I got blue beauties, and I've got stripies in here. Uh, they're all at various stages. They had to come in or they would be dead. I currently have butternuts. I've got this one split. I think it was so cold that I brought it in, it uh, warmed up too fast, but the rest stayed really good. And I have a whole bag of green ones. I have this whole bag of tomatoes. Uh, I've got blue beauties that are almost ready, stripies that are ready, uh, ready to be picked and eat. And I also got green ones. And as you can see, they're not very big. I would say this is about, nah, no, maybe 25 pounds. I think that's the conversion, 12 kilos. Yeah, 12 kilos of tomatoes plus those tomatoes and some of these are going to be very large tomatoes as you can see they are very large and as of course if you watch the short the largest tomato I got 531 grams as you can see not a very large harvest uh, I was expecting much more with the vertical growing uh, onions you know the onions did not do well uh, that was because uh, all the tops got knocked over early and they won't grow if the tops get knocked over. Just a lot of things went wrong. But when you're doing raised beds, expecting a large harvest the first year, I was not expecting a large harvest, but I was expecting more than I got. Uh, in ground still seems to be the best way to go. So next year, I will try it again. Remember, I did my raised beds out of wood the most economical way possible because I didn't want to buy those metal ones they're so expensive if it didn't work then what so one more year to go thank you for tuning in on all my gardening tips and I uh, hope you're having fun did not get any hot peppers of any size worth at all anywhere in any of my gardens so I did something wrong could have been all the smoke don't know have yourself a great weekend happy gardening get on out there grow some food and I'm gonna enjoy butternuts all the way into the new year